Usually I'll have time in the morning to first have a shower, then prepare my breakfast, and then write my gratefulness journal. Um, this morning I made myself some orange juice and breakfast, after which I quickly showered and left. I was even checking emails while I was having breakfast rather than just focusing on having a relaxed breakfast because today has been such a busy day. I didn't even have time to do my morning Duolingo and that says a lot. Hello warriors and welcome back for another video. It is now evening and I have just finished recording a full day of eating which I would love to share with y'all. Anyway, it was a really, 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 really busy day at work. So today I'm taking you on a day in the life of a very, very hungry, very, very busy research associate. During the video, I will also be talking a little bit about extreme hunger and intuitive eating because it's something I get asked about a lot. And it seems to be something that's currently a bigger deal in my life than it has been for a while. But you'll find out why. Anyway, let's start with breakfast. For breakfast, as usual, I had oats. I added banana and cocoa powder to it. I will usually also add flax seeds. I wasn't really in the mood for it today, so I didn't. And I had this with a wonderful glass of fresh orange juice. Today I brought some packed lunches to work. I brought two lunch boxes, two big lunch boxes, because recently I've been getting really, really, really hungry. Really, really all the time. So I brought with me some barley curry, which had some chopped tomatoes, coconut cream, turmeric, curry spices, lots of different veg, and that was honestly the best curry I've ever made. No exaggeration. I also brought with me tagliatelle pasta with some boiled celery, kale, a broccoli and chickpeas. I topped this with some chili powder, some herbs, some lemon juice and some nutritional yeast. I also brought a snack of grapes. As we were going to have a participant come in at 11 o'clock and I was already starting to get a bit peckish, I ended up eating the pasta. Just about quarter to 11, I heated up the first part of the pasta, ate that and then decided I also wanted to have the remainder of it. So I quickly went back, heated that up, ate that as well before the arrival of the participant. After the participant had finished testing, this was at one o'clock, I then had the barley curry. And not long after that, I followed it up with some lovely, delicious, juicy, sweet grapes. This kept me going for a few more hours and then I left to go home at five o'clock. I did a little bit of research and a little bit of writing for my book and then I decided it was time for dinner because I was really really hungry. So I made a very easy bolognese pasta with some tofu mince from The Hobbit which is a company I've discussed in my previous video. I also added half of a butternut squash, about half of a head of celery, a can of chopped tomatoes, although looking back I probably should have done two cans of chopped tomatoes because there wasn't a lot of sauce. And then I also added some herbs, some smoked paprika, some wine and some chopped tomatoes in oil. I had this with almost an entire bag of spaghetti. Fun tip! If you're cooking with butternut squash, keep the seeds. If you give them a little rinse, 
you can then fry them up in a pan, just air fry them with some salt and then you can sprinkle them over your oats or put them in your yogurt bowls or just eat them like that. They are honestly so good. Personally, I am a really big fan of just simple recipes like this. I'll just add in any vegetables I have, a can of tomato sauce and preferably some red wine because it really just gives a new depth to the flavour. But let me know, what is your favourite pasta recipe? Who knows, maybe I'll try out your recipe later. Here's just a bit of footage of me eating because I hadn't really recorded all that much today because my phone memory is getting really, really full for some reason, which is really annoying if you're trying to record a YouTube video. But anyway, I managed to record myself dropping food all over my wonderful unicorn pajama pants. And then I decided to just keep eating and to only fix my pants after I finished my plate of food because I was hungry and I wanted food, obviously. As for snacks, when I came home from work earlier, I had a tiny little cube of bougie bougie chocolate, which, as you may know, is the best chocolate on this planet. I had two more cubes later on in the night and a glass of chocolate milk, but after that big mountain of pasta and another big mountain of pasta for seconds, I think I was fairly satisfied for a change and that felt quite good because for the past few days I've just been ravenous the entire time and I've been eating, in my mind, so much and I remember that before this would completely freak me out if I ate much more than usual or even if I didn't listen to my hunger cues but I just felt hungrier than usual, alarm bells would be going off in my head and it is wonderful that now that is no longer the case because I listen to my body and I know that it will ask me for what exactly it wants and what exactly it needs. So that is the tip that I really want to give you in this video. Listen to your body. Even if you're following a meal plan, if you're still hungry, then eat more. Your meal plan is just a guideline, a minimum that you need to reach. But if you need more, honestly, eat more. You need it. And the more you listen to your body, the faster your body will start to trust you again. The faster you will go through the period of discomfort. And the faster you will reach a healthy and happy life again. So that is the big giveaway that I want to give you today. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, be sure to like it, to subscribe, and all your comments are welcome. I do read every single one of them. I love you all. Take care.